morning. Welcome back to Deep South Cooking with Monty. This morning, we're gonna show you how to make a real quick, easy omelet. And uh, I'm gonna use my good friend here, Jimmy Dean. Now, this comes with the sausage, the, uh, the bell peppers, the onions, the potatoes, everything you need. Eggs, got my little bit of breakfast seasoning from Blackstone, and then top it off with some cheese. The tools I'm gonna be using today are my omelet maker, my scrambler, oil, and butter. So let's go outside to the griddle and I'll show you how to put all this together. Okay, back outside. I'm gonna show you, the, like I said, the easy way to make an omelet. Now, the first thing you gotta do is prepare your cooking surface. Now, I have reheated it already, but I gotta get ready to put the oil on. So, first thing you wanna do, it's hot. You gotta get a little bit of oil on it. Spread it all out. Like I said, olive oil, but I'm gonna come back. Every time I cook, folks, I love butter. So we're gonna throw some butter on it. Now I got two sections. One over here, I'm gonna put the meat, and later on I'm gonna put the omelets over here. And you're gonna find out, getting up on Saturday or Sunday morning, you don't wanna go buy food, you don't want to take too long to cook a food. The easiest way to do it, folks, is to use Jimmy Dean's. Now, I'm not advertising for Jimmy Dean's. I'm only showing you what I use. Everything you need is on the inside of that. Now, the meat's pretty much cooked. Now, it comes out frozen, of course. So you want to just cook it down a little bit. It don't take but a couple minutes. Make sure everything is on the, on the griddle in one spot. We're going to flip it over in about two or three minutes. The next part we're going to do while we're waiting is get the eggs ready. Now all we need is two eggs. Okay, we got the Jimmy Dean's cooking down. Now it's time to get the eggs going. Now, I'm making two omelets, so we're only going to scramble up one at a time, go over two eggs. There we go. Short, sweet, and simple. Now, let's flip these sausage over. There we go. You can start seeing where they're getting crispy. Like I said, it doesn't take long to cook this stuff at all. This is all about speed. How fast can we eat? You see my little pepper bouncing on the on the wheel? That's perfect. That means they're all cooking down. I'm starting to see a little bit of brown on the vegetables also. So now I'm gonna get my egg rings ready. And we're gonna give that a couple more seconds and we'll tune you right back in in a moment. Flip it over again. Oops, I think they are getting perfect. You're not really here to burn these things. So I think they're done too perfect. That's shown right there. So that's time to get the next step going. I'm gonna put the butter. The inside of the group on the side of the omelet rings. I use a tablespoon in both in both of them. Now nobody likes an omelet without heavy butter on it. At least I don't. I like it as flavorful as I can get them. There we go. Now see I put them in a little piece of paper. The way that goes. Now, just to give you an idea of the temperature, looks like we're right now at about 300 on this side. I turned the eyes off. And on this side, I'm about 350. You don't want to cook the omelets on 350 or higher because you'll singe the bottom of it too much. So, first thing I'm going to do is just pour the egg in. 
Meanwhile, I gotta get the next one ready to go. Little wire whisk. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Now there you go, that's looking good. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my season. Well, make sure it all goes to the edge. I have a little butter, little butter area. We want that butter in the flavor. In the olive. You don't have to go too heavy on the season, guys, because you got so much seasoning in this mix. And the cheese. You can't forget about the cheese. There we go. That's, we'll keep it turning a little bit until those omelets start cooking a little bit better. Now I'm to the point where I just want to keep them warm. I don't want to, I don't want to keep on cooking on them. So we want to turn that temperature down. Put a little heat back underneath these omelets. Basically what I'm doing is I'm cooking them on both sides. So I'm gonna flip them in a minute, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna let them cook down just a minute. So I won't bore you, I'm gonna pan out and we'll be right back again. Okay, now we're gonna focus in on this omelet. I'm gonna show you. It's actually breaking away from the ring. Look at this guys. It couldn't have got any easier than that. Two of them. Now you can start seeing where they're actually prime time to flip them on over. Look at that. Now, you've got all that butter flavoring right here. So, what I'm gonna do is start putting the toppings on. Now I like heavy toppings. And again, as I always say, it ain't got to be absolutely perfect. But I like my omelets thick. Now, that's okay, you leave a few little couples on the side. We're gonna probably lay those right on top to give it a little bit more of a view. So, you know what? This is exactly how we're gonna do it. Now, cheese. I'm using just mild cheddar cheese this morning. You can use any style of cheese you like. There we are. By now, the inside of that omelet, I mean the, the bottom half of that omelet that we just flipped will be almost perfect. So look, look at that. That is a fat, beautiful omelet. Oh my lordy. Okay. Now what I want to do, I still like more cheese, guys. I like more cheese. And I ran on low, so give me a moment. I'm going to grab my bag and be right back. Made it back. Got my bag of cheese back out. Beautiful. This one started melting already, which is good. While that cheese is melting, we're gonna dress it up with a little bit of extra of the interior mix. Just lay it right on top. Eating this by yourself, you ain't got to worry about the presentation. But you you eat with your eyes. I've always been told that. So the better the food looks, the more you're going to enjoy it. And I believe that. So the better I can make my omelet appear, the more I'm going to enjoy it myself. Look at that, guys.
I can't be happier with with a product like this. So getting time to take it off the grill, so I'm gonna move over there with this pan. And uh, we're gonna bring it inside. Oh, I don't wanna lose a single topping off of that. Look at that, guys. That's just beautiful. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today at Deep South Cooking. And one of the things that I like to focus on is quick meals, delicious meals, and easy to make. And uh, I hope I did that for you. Now, it's time for me to dig in. I've added my picante sauce, and I'm fixed to eat it. But last and final, if, uh, if you like what you've seen, I really appreciate it if you like my, like my video and subscribe to my page.